Code explained says hi. Today we're going to build the UI for our to do component. So we're going to build the UI and then do some styling. Now our to do component receives using props the to do object. So our to do is an object with bunch of properties. So to render the to do, we're just gonna use those properties. Our to do component is a functional component. We're going to receive the to do using props. So I'm gonna use some destructuring here. I'm gonna destructure the props object to get my object to do. Then we're going to return some JSX, a dev with the class name to do, and then a dev with the class name to do container. Now when I hover over a to do, you can see that the trash icon appears. So we need some state here to keep track of when the user hover over our to do. So we need to add some events to my dev here. So it's gonna be on mouse enter and on mouse leave. So we need some state. So I'm gonna call this hover and then I'm gonna set it to false. So when the mouse enters my to do, I'm gonna set this to true. And when the mouse leaves the to do, I'm gonna set this to false. So to change our hover, we're gonna need my function here that is returned by my use state hook. I'm gonna call it sit hover. You can call it whatever you want. So on mouse enter, I'm gonna set hover to true. And on mouse leave, I'm gonna set hover to false. Now the rest of the UI is gonna be inside of my to do container. You can see here that I imported some icons from React Bootstrap icons. The check circle fell, the circle, the trash, and the arrow clockwise. These are the icons we're gonna need for our to-do. Now, for our to-do component, we have four parts. We have this part when we show the check icons. So we have this dev with the class name check to-do. Then we have this part here when we show the text of the to-do. So a dev with the class name text. And then we have the repeat next day icon this arrow icon, so a dev with the class name add to the next day. And then the last one is the delete button, so the trash icon. So we have this dev with the class name delete to do. Now for our check to do here, we show this icon when the to do is checked. And we show this circle here, this icon, when it's not checked. So we need here some JavaScript inside of this. So I'm gonna go and put some curly braces there. And then I'm gonna use a ternary operator. So if the to-do is checked, I'm gonna render the check circle fell, this icon here. Else if it's not checked, I'm gonna show this circle icon. Then the color of that circle is gonna be the color of our to-do. Now inside the dev with the class name text, we're going to render a p tag and inside of it just the text of the to-do. Then a span here, we're going to show the time. Then the project the to-do belongs to. Now for the text of the to-do, when it's not checked, it's a black color. But when it's checked, it's a gray color. So I'm going to handle that using the style attribute here. So the style in JavaScript is an object. So I'm going to put some JavaScript here. So I need this called the braces because I'm gonna write some JavaScript here. Then because style here is an object, I'm gonna use some curly braces there. Then the property I'm gonna change. It's gonna be the color of the text. The color here is gray when the color is checked, else if it's not checked, it's gonna be a black color. Now for this line here, it's just gonna be a dev. So a dev with the height of one pixel and then width with 100%. So a height of one pixel makes the dev looks like a line. So it's just a dev. Now when the to-do is not checked, this line here has a height of one pixel, but the width of zero pixels. That's why we don't see this line here. But when it's checked, it has one pixel for the height and 100% for the width. So when the to-do is not checked, I'm gonna add this class name called line. So here, now we're not saying nothing because the line here has a height of one pixel, but a width of zero pixels. But then if the to-do is checked, we add this class name called line through, and this will change the property here from width equals zero to width equals 100%. 
Now I'm using here a dollar sign and then some curly braces because I'm using here some back text. So this is called literal expression. So after to do is checked, I'm gonna set the width using line through to 100%, else I'm gonna use an empty string, so I'm just gonna stick with line where the width is set to zero pixels. Now for this icon here, this repeat next day, is shown only when the to-do is checked. So I'm gonna need some curly braces and then say if to-do is checked, then show my arrow clockwise icon, this icon here. Now for delete to-do, we're gonna show this in both cases. When I hover over the, the to-do and when it's checked. So I'm gonna need some curly braces. So if it's hover, I'm gonna show the trash icon or if the to-do is checked, I'm gonna also show the trash icon. So I'm gonna put this inside parentheses and then show my trash icon. So if one of these is true, then I'm gonna show the trash icon. If both are false, I'm not gonna show the trash icon. By the way, this add to next day feature in our to-do app, so when you finish a to-do, you have the ability to add this to the next day. So you just click on this button here and then this to do will be repeated the next day, same time, same text. So this feature here was suggested by uh, Morifat. So I'm gonna say thank you for your suggestion. Now that's it for the logic part. Let's go and see this in action. So before we start, we need the files from the last part, the part 10. I'm gonna go and copy the link for that folder, then go to downkit and paste that and then click on download. Once you download this, go inside your folder, run npm install and then you're good to go. If you have already the files, just skip that and go and open your text editor. Now we made a mistake last time this should be id now i'm gonna close this and go to my to do component so here we need a dev with the class name uh, to do container and then a dev with the class name check to do so i need to know if the to do is checked i'm gonna uh, render the this icon here the check the check circle fell and the color is gonna be a gray color and then else if it's not checked i'm gonna just show a span with the class name unchecked and inside of it it's gonna be uh, the circle icon the color of this is gonna be the to do color so if i hit save you now see the icons. If I go to to-dos and then change the color, for example, for this one, the color of that to-do or that circle icon will change. Now here we need a dev with the class name text. So this is where we show the text. So we need a P tag with the text of the to-do inside, then I'm gonna need a span where I show the time for the to-do and then the project it belongs to. And then I'm gonna go and add a dev with the class name. It's gonna be line and when the to-do is checked, I'm gonna add another class name called line through to change the width of this div from 0 to 100 percent and if it's not i'm gonna just render or use an empty string so i'm gonna go to my app that css and add the styling for my line and the line through so if it's just the line i'm gonna set the height to one pixel and the background to a gray color the position is going to be absolute and then the top is going to be 25 percent and then the width is going to be zero pixels and then i'm going to use some transitions for the width 250 
milliseconds and is in out. Now for the line through, I'm going to set the width to 100%. So I need here to, to position the line relative to the text. Now you can see the line is through my text. Now when the text is is checked or to do is checked the the color of the text is going to be a gray color and if it's not it's going to be a black color okay that's good now i'm going to go and and add a dev with the class name add to next day To do that checked, if the to do is checked, then I'm going to show that button, the arrow clockwise button or icon. Then at the bottom here, I'm going to add another dev, the last one with the class name delete to do. So we're going to need a hover state. So if the to do is checked, I'm going to show this the trash icon and also if it's hovered i need to show the icon so let's go first and change this from false to true you can see that the uh, line was added with some transition there now i'm gonna go and uh, create some state so I'm going to call the constant hover, then set hover to change that. I'm going to set this to false, initialize it with false. I need to bring in use state hook. So I need to add some, the on mouse enter event. So when the mouse enters, we're going to set hover to true. And then when or on mouse leave, I'm going to set hover to false. Now at the bottom here, I'm going to say if hover or is to do is checked, I'm going to render the trash icon. So you can see now that if I hover my, if I hover over my to do, the trash icon is checked. Now let's go and style our to do so for the parents the pattern is going to be 0 0.5 ram for top and bottom and one ram for left and right for my to do container i'm going to display it as a flex and then align items center then for my to do container for each span in there i'm going to set the cursor to pointer so each button here now will have this cursor pointer now I'm going to go and add some styles to my text. So flex to one. So it takes the whole space. Then some margins for the right and left of 10 pixels. Then the cursor to pointer. Now I'm going to go and add some uh, style to the span. So to the time and to the project. The font is going to be 0 0.5 eight rands the color is going to be a gray color now for our uh, add to next day i'm going to add some margin to the right of 10 pixels so that's it for the styling now i'm just going to go and change this from true to false you can see what's happening there the transition for the line through is there so that's it for this part I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.